natural resources, air, water and land. Atmosphere. Observe. Observe the picture alongside and answer the questions. 1. Where do we see the birds? 2. Where is the cow grazing? 3. Locate the trees and the road. 4. Where does the river come from? How does it flow? 5. Where is the aeroplane? 6. Where are the fish seen? 7. On what is the sailboat floating? Natural resources. You can see that some things in the picture are in water, some on land, and some in the sky, that tea in the air. Thus, all things on the earth are associated with OIR, water and land, air. Water and land are called the Earth's atmosphere, hydrosphere and lithosphere, respectively. Moreover, different living things occupy these three spheres of the earth. These living things in the parts of the lithosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere which they occupy are together called the biosphere. These spheres are formed on the earth naturally. We have learnt all this in the previous standards. The atmosphere is the layer of air that surrounds the earth. The surface of the earth comprises water and land, that is, the hydrosphere and lithosphere. Of these, the hydrosphere occupies a much larger part than the lithosphere figure 1.2 shows the proportion of land and water on the earth's surface. We also look upon these natural components in solid, liquid and gaseous form as resources. In other words, we use them to fulfill our requirements. Let us now study all these three components in detail. Hydrosphere Lithosphere 1.1 Spheres of the Earth Air, water and land are The factors important for sustaining the living world on the earth and for fulfilling their basic needs. They are called natural resources. Land 29% Water 71% 1.2 Proportion of land and water